How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Card Collection with another card opening video. Today we continue our 2020 Bowman Fat Packs. These retail for a, about $6, $5.99. They go online though for about $20 on the aftermarket. They're very, very difficult to pick up on the retail side from a Target or a Walmart every time I feel like I go there. I just see a display case. Sometimes they're flipped upside down like somebody just dumped everything in their cart and kept on going. So I have six we're going to look at today. Obviously we're looking for a Jason Dominguez. Um, but also there are Jordan Alvarez rookies. There's Nico Horner rookies. There's Gavin Lux. There's Bo Bichette. Uh, Rissi's Aquina. Um, all those guys. Maybe we'll even pull an auto. Who knows? But... Let's see what we get. So typically this way this works is we'll have a bunch of base in the front. Then we'll have a couple insert chrome cards and then some more base. And then we'll have um, a few more, four more chrome cards and then some more base. But So we're starting off with a really nice Juan Soto. Um, Diaz, here's a, here's a cool Bo Bichette, Rookie of the Year favorites insert. Luis Patino, people are pretty high on him. I think his auto is one of the bigger ones in this. Sam Huff, there's an Adley, first overall pick. Wander Franco, I believe this actually is a pretty desirable card. It's his prospect card, it's BP1. He's the Bowman Prospect 1 in this set. There's a Debbie Garcia, Casey Mize, Nova, and Joe Ryan. So no Dominguez in this one. Mejia, here's a Vladdy Jr. Alex Schoenberg. But we did pull a Wander Franco. It's interesting to me that hobby boxes for 2019 Bowman and 2020 Bowman are about the same price now. They're hovering around 250, 275. And for one auto, I feel like that's it's aggressive. But because you're more likely to get a pitcher than you are Wander Franco or Jason Dominguez. But still, it's crazy to me that the price of 2020 is in line with 2019. I know there's the Dominguez hype, but I feel like there's a better checklist in 2019. And who knows, 10 years down the road, that might not be the case. But with Joey Bart, Marso, Marco Luciano, Wander Franco and I say Joey Barr, who am I missing? Julio Rodriguez. Those are like big four, I feel like, that I don't know, they could they could hold that product pretty strong, 2019 Bowman. Brent Rucker, Royce Lewis, Falzovic. Here's a nice insert of Jordan Alvarez. Bowman, nineteen ninety insert. Let's set that to the side to sleeve it. Dalbag, Seth Beer. I think I'll have myself a beer. Duran Duran, people are pretty high on him. Uh, there's the aforementioned Marco Luciano, Bryson Stott, Tyler Freeman, Logan Davidson, Evan White just signed a big contract, Eric Pardino, Michael Baez, Dimitri, John Means, and Dan Vogelback. So, first two packs in, we've hit two insert rookie cards, which... I'm good with so far. Jordan. Make some room. Still searching for a Dominguez paper or chrome. Preferably chrome. I don't think the odds are phenomenal of getting one. I think I was reading the other day where packs of 2011 Bowman draft go for, or maybe it's Bowman Chrome go for $70 now, just for a normal pack, and the odds of hitting a Mike Trout rookie in that which go for like $350 to $500 depending on if it's draft or Chrome go for or the odds of getting one is like 1 out of eight, every 80 packs I'd hate for that to be Dominguez, but never know there's another rookie of the year favorites, Aquino Aristides Aquino. Let's put that here. A little older prospect, but huge power when he came up last year. Okay, Cole Wynn. I really do like, though, they have this, like, 
the borders on these Bowman Chrome cards. Cantel Cantelia Cantello. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't talk. Mountcastle and Das Cameron. There's a Mike Trout. Always like getting Mike Trouts. Lindor. Max Muncy. I feel like in the limited product I've opened, it always goes Trout, Lindor, and Muncy. So there could be a bit of a collation going on. I guess that's not totally surprising considering Topps really sprinted to get this stuff out. Or it was already delayed and then because of the printing and nobody being there to print because of COVID and then they kind of rushed a lot of stuff out. But what do we got here? We got a Tatis. Always like getting a Tatis. Uh, Scherzer. Uh, AJ Puck. Scooball. People were pretty big on him. I think his autograph's in this. Singer. Kenzie Gore. CJ Abrams. We have a Joe Adele. It's a nice card. Joey Bart. The aforementioned. Seth Beer. And Brennan Davis. I think his first auto is in this product as well, and people are chasing him. He's kind of a high risk, high reward type player from what I read. But he is a Cub too. People like chasing Cubs. So, Castillo, Castillo, Alberto, and Robel Garcia. Two more packs to go. So far, we're hitting some rookies, but. No Paulson, no Bobby Witt, no Jason Dominguez. There's like a weird, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Uh, Diaz, AJ Puck. We have the Nationals, Will Crow, Luis Garcia, and Jackson Rutledge. Rutledge, their first pick last year. We hit another Jordan Alvarez rookie insert. I'll put that right here. Matagril, Kriloff. Miguel Vargas, people are high on him. Jorge Mateo, who's in every Bowman product since the beginning of time. Mason Denneberg. Paredes. Ronald Hernandez. Xander Bogarts, Acuna. Aquino, rookie. Arozina. Alright, let me sleeve up that Jordan. Put him right here. Aquino. Get one, two. Again, I really like these. The way this is designed, the borders, just the white. It just looks so clean. Just the design of these cards. So I think Tops did pretty good on that. Last pack. See what we hit. Seem like we've seen this collation before. Bobby Bradley, Spencer Howard from the Phillies, Tristan Lutz, Xavier Edwards, Cardenas, Blake Rutherford, Joey Bart, Spencer Howard, Incarnacion. I believe he has an auto in this product. This is Seth Beer. We have a gold. Brennan Davis again, and our gold is... <laughs> I actually hit his auto in the aforementioned uh, Bowman Jumbo I bought. Alvaro Cies. So we hit first Bowman, right behind him is a Jordan. Gold. It's a nice looking card. Jordan Alvarez. There's a Gavin Lux. Yamamoto and Shohei. Always look good in a Shohei. So it's nice we got. It's actually wasn't that bad. We did not hit Jason Dominguez. However, we did hit some pretty nice cards. Let me put this. Dang, hit a lot of Yordans. Alright. I remember one of the first golds I got was of like Eric Cartier with. 2003 maybe I don't know it's a long time ago but I got a gold of his 
out of a pack of Bowman cards, number 50, and I cherish that card. I thought he was going to be great. It's like the Royals' second or third round pick that year, and he could throw really well. Of course, he blew his arm out, and I think he made it to the majors later on in his career, but never really did much. So, I always remember that was my first gold I pulled way back in the day. Put these over here. But here's our gold. I'm sorry if I am mispronouncing, but Oliveira Sejas, number 22 out of 50. It looks really nice. I really like the way they did this border here. So, it's a nice looking card. We have our Rookie of the Year favorites, Bo Bichette. Here's a Gavin Lux rookie. Again, this has a sh this year is a pretty strong rookie class. Um, Wander Franco. People are always going to be high on him, I feel like, until he does something or flames out. Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez insert rookie of the year favorites. Jordan Alvarez. 30th anniversary of Bowman. Aquino. Base rookie. Aquino. Rookie of your favorites. So, pretty solid, I think, in terms of these six packs of fatties, but... We will continue our hunt for Dominguez. Hopefully hit one in our next set. But thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one. See you next time.